Once upon a time, someone that I knew went to the Bible Belt in the U.S. for about a month for some purpose and came back uh, with the King James only doctrine or dogma I should say. This person came back telling me that only the King James Version is the correct translation of scripture, that all the other versions are somehow corrupt. So, while I really like the King James Version, it's like uh, scripture, it's like spiritual truth plus Shakespeare, What's not to like about that? So while I really like the King James Version, I do not subscribe to the idea that it alone is the one and only correct translation of scripture. So this person came and told me that the King James Version is the only correct translation. So I said to this person, in that case, all the Chinese translations of scripture are false because all of the Chinese translations of scripture are not the King James Version. So this person thought for a moment and then they said, perhaps those translations, those Chinese translations, that are based off the King James Version would be correct. To which I replied, in that case, why could not the English translations that are based off the King James Version be correct? Because while most modern translations, in fact, I would think about all of them, all modern English translations are based off the original Greek, Hebrew, and Aramaic scriptures. Uh, the Living Bible, the original Living Bible translation, was actually a paraphrase of the King James Version. It was created when this, the translator of the Living Bible translation used to read from the King James Version to his children every night. So he would read to them with all the these and the thou's and uh, thou shalt and thou shalt not. He would read the King James Version to them and then explain to them, these young children, this is what it means. And he would speak to them in normal 20th century English because this was in the last century. And one day his children said to him, why doesn't it just say what it means? And so the man set out to paraphrase the King James Version into normal English that normal people in the 20th century spoke. Thus came about the Living Bible translation. So that's a little uh, <clears throat> digression there. I told this person, in that case, all the Chinese translations are not acceptable because none of them are the King James Version. And then I said to her, then I said to them, if that's the case, then why would not the Living Bible be considered acceptable and accurate because it was based off the King James Version? And thus, this person dropped the King James Version only dogma, which they had adopted from a few weeks in a particular church in the Bible Belt.